to the ABCs of posting. It's a drill that I developed and that I'm putting into the five star uh, family of drills and it is dealing with low post play. So the first thing I'm going to do is this morning I'm going to teach you the A, the B, and the C. The A is position or the alpha hole and that's what we want to teach you. The alpha hole, B is bend to the ball, C is catch and move. So it's the A, B, C. So whenever you're in the, ball, in the low post, you've got to know and think A, B, C's every time you get down there. Now you got to, we're going to give you some different techniques about uh, playing the low post, but I think one of the most important things is, is that you have to follow those three steps. Sometimes in the game, you get all kind of hung up and kind of all tight and, and excited about what's going on and you don't think about what you need to be doing in the low post. And so that's what we want to give you this morning is a teaching on the ABCs of the low post. There are five ways that a person can cover you. A person can either take you low post, half front here, or they'll play you high front, full front here, or they'll play you behind in a full front if you've got a guy that's really a, a beast down there and you've got a coach that's, that's fully fronting and will not allow an impasse straight passes in. Fourth way that they defend is right straight behind. I call this fish defense. I think this is a very poor defense to play. You've got to commit. And your defensive philosophy should be making this player go one way or another. If they have a low post attack and you're playing behind a player, you're not telling the rest of your team what you want him to do. Defensively, I want to tell my team where he's going to go with the ball. So I'll always post a guy either low, high, front, back. Um, I'll post half front on the low side, half front on the high side. Now, the fifth way that you cover this person is if you sag off right in here. And there's some people that will do this. They'll sag into this position here. Now, what I want to teach you today is what you do in each one of these situations. First thing you do is, let's say you're coming across from the other side, you've got a guy that's coming with you, comes across, gets into the alpha hole. Between the block and the hash is the alpha hole. If you can control that territory and that ground in a basketball game, you can pretty much control what's going on down in the heart of their defense. So we call this the alpha hole. It's a very important place to be. It's a very important place to post between the block and the hash. Now when that player gets to the alpha hole here, if you've got a guy here that is really huge and he's pushing you uh, up here like this, that's good. He's taking a step out of the alpha hole and what he's saying is I'm going to take that ball low to the hole. I'm going to take it low to the hole and I'm going to post up with a power slide. If you've got a guy that's posting you way up like this, you want to step him down, step one foot out of the alpha hole, keep your foot out of the lane, foot out of the lane so you can call it on three seconds, get him lower. Always the rule of thumb is if he's got you low, take him lower. If he's got you high, right in here, take him higher. And one of, the, one of the ways that we need to do that is we need to do that to gain position. He needs to be an earth mover down here. And we'll teach that later on in a segment on rebounding. This, uh, if he's playing behind, if he's playing in front, okay, this is one thing. If he wants to, if he wants to back you up, Tyler has stepped me out. He stepped me out. If I'm, tightening, if I'm tightening it into the basket, he wants to step me out. If I'm way out on, on, on this position here with a back front, he's going to back me back into this position here to get himself some good position. Now, A, ABC is opposing. That's the alpha hole. That's very important to have control of that position. Now, if you're in the alpha hole, Make sure your, your 
Your feet are outside the lane line, or they'll call you on the three second on that. You gotta be posting up wide just like that. If the ball's coming in from the angle here, it's pretty simple because you get a ball coming in from the angle, you can tell your passer where you want the ball. Now, if you're gonna receive an entry pass up here, and you got a guy that's here, playing you in this position here, you do not want to inbound that pass, or that you do not want to put that pass into the post from the top when you got this guy east or west. You do not want to post, throw that ball in from the post if you got him east and west. What you want to do, Tyler, switch with me and play a little defense here. If you're here and we got a ball out the top, Seth, grab a ball, take it out to the top for me. If you got a guy that's posting you here, and you got a guy that's east and west, or a little northeast on you here, that is a bad pass to try to make in the post. We don't want to make this kind of a pass here, or if he's on this side of me, we don't want to make this kind of a pass here, all right, if he's on this side, because that's very hard to get, especially if you have weak side help here. So, what we want to do right here is if I'm on offense here and I got a guy at the top and I want to and I want to receive a pass into the post, what I'll do is I'll get my guy here. I'll make this defender play me north or south, not east or west. You got a guy east or west, you do not want that ball in the post. If he's here and you got a guard out on the top, you need to step in front and look for the ball right here and get north and south. Now playing you a little bit on the high side here, all right, you already got him so that you're south of him. So instead of stepping in front of him here, all you have to do is step in with a forearm and call for the ball right here, coming down into that shot right there. Good. That's a, uh, again, that's very important from the entry pass from the top of the key or from the perimeter. When you're a guard and you're out on the perimeter, a lot of times you don't get an angle to pass in here, but you try to force it in anyway. A good rule of thumb is if you don't have an angle, take one more dribble to give you the angle to pass the ball into the pulse. Now, back to our offense, defense, and ABCs. First thing is alpha hole. Got to establish your dominance in the alpha hole. If I've got a guy that is playing me on the high side, he's got me, he's got me high, call it hide. He's hiding me down to this position here. All right. I'm almost out of the alpha hole on the bottom side. What I have to do is I need to step him up the lane. Now, because of the rigid rules that are going on right now in basketball, because of the, uh, the sensitivity of a lot of referees, you cannot move with a shoulder Move a guy with a shoulder. Anytime you drop your shoulder, they're going to be looking to call a foul on you. So what you want to do here is you want to step, put both hands up in the air. Why do we put both hands up in the air to step? It's because that way the refs can see your hands. You're not pushing off like this. You're not pushing off like this. You got both hands up in the air. The officials will see your hands go up. As soon as your hands go up here, what you want to do is take this right foot, your top foot, and you want to step right between his legs. You want to step him up the lane, right there. Now you're not bumping him with a hip, you're just stepping, stepping. Same thing as if he's got you on way high here, you're way out of the alpha hole position. You get the ball in here, all you're going to do is take a 15 foot jump shot. We can get that any time. So, I want to, I want to shot close to the basket. So again, I see he's playing me high. I'm going to throw my arms up, step, step, down into the alpha hole. Now, I've got one foot out of the alpha hole, one foot in the alpha hole. When I get the pass here, now I've got to step in here, and I'm right there to the, book, to the basket. All right. If I am playing on a... Uh, on the, on the front side here, put me on the front side. Full front, full front. All right, he's gonna full front me face to face. Now he can also full front me this way. If he does full front me there, and I wanna call for the ball here, 
what I want to do is I want to put a forearm right into his back. And I want to put my hands up, step him, step him. And you see what's the difference between that and this? That's going to be called for a foul. If he's back in here, put your hands up, step, step, okay? When you're ready for the ball, you drop your arm, call for it. Now, when you receive a lob pass, you got to wait until the ball gets over your head and then go for the ball. Hold your player until the ball gets over your head and then go for it. Otherwise, too, too much uh, chance for a steal. If he's playing right behind me, I got the alpha hole. I have to decide where do I want to go. I can go high, I can go low. So if he's playing a little bit lower on my hip here, I'm going to take it just a little bit lower. I'm just going to step down the lane a little bit. Two steps is very important in basketball. As soon as I step him down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call for the ball out here. Not here, not here. I don't know where he is. Got to keep a body into him. If he's playing back into the middle of the lane here, and we do rotate the ball, and he still won't commit to coming out to me, I'll go back and find him, pin him, look for the ball right here. Okay, now, one of the things that, uh, that's alpha position. Second thing is you need to bend the ball. Bend to the ball. That means when he's playing you on a high front, half front high, and he's got you right in here. Let's switch it around for a minute. Okay, he's got me on a high front here. All right, I've stepped him up the lane. When I'm ready to receive a pass, my, my signal to the guards is I'll drop this hand. Drop this hand here when I'm ready, okay? Start to get in position. B, the A, B, C is a posting. I'll get my butt down, bend the ball. He's still got an arm here. Now, one of the things that, that I have to be careful of is if, if he's got an arm here, that I try to pick that arm out of here, it won't work. I'm not strong enough. Hold me down. All right, I can't, I can't, I can't get that ball out of there. Okay, I can't get that hand out of there. So what I want to do is realize there's no strength from the elbow to the shoulder. So I'm going to break above the arm right here. So when I get in position, ready for the ball, I'll throw this arm straight up under here, and I'll call ball, 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 ball. Now see how that broke open. A window. Now I'm calling for the ball here. Now, a good thing to talk to the guards about here is if I call for the ball here, you try to make me a pass here, that's not acceptable. The pass has to go here. Same thing if he's playing me on the low side. He's got in front. Alright, I've stepped him down, getting ready for my position. Ball, 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 right here. Now I've got an open window right to the hole. Okay? That's B, bend to the ball. If he's playing directly behind me, I can't stand up looking for a ball here. I get a pass here, he's coming right over my shoulder to block it. So what you want to do is you always want to bend to the ball. B, A, what was that again? Alpha hole, good. B is bending to the ball. So if he's playing directly behind me, I don't want to stand up straight and lean on him here. I want to get my butt down, call for the ball right, right out here. This gives me two more feet where I can get the ball. As soon as I get the ball into the post here, now I can make a move. As the ball is in the air, he's going to make a commitment or stay behind me. If he makes a commitment to the right side, I know I'm going left. If he makes a commitment to the left side, I know I'm going right. If he stays right behind me, I have a lot of options. I can give him a juke fake one way, go the other way to the hole. If, he, if, I, if I've got it here, I can give him a juke fake this way, go this way. I can give him a juke fake, turn around, jump shot right there. Same thing here, juke fake, turn around, jump shot here. Juke fake, up, he comes to recover, up and under, shot right there. Okay, so those are things that we want to remember in bending to the ball. If you're here, and he's got a full front on me, and again, I've stepped him out. I'm going to put my, my wrist, my elbow into his back, call for the ball right here. Now, my bend to the ball is when it gets over my head. Hold him, hold him, hold him, 
Ball still near, still near, still near. I see the ball right here. Now I release, get the ball, and take the shot. Okay. C, part C of the ABCs of posting is the catch and release. Catch and the move. That's very important in any kind of a low post attack. If you guys got your playing on the high side, you get a ball here. If he's playing you on the high side, yeah, Seth, you can go out there and, and make him pass in here if you want. And here, now, again, you want to step back the lane, put your hands up first. That's it now. No, 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 don't pass until I tell you, okay? You're a little bit high in the alpha hole here, okay? You, you don't have to be that quite, that quite that high. You've got plenty of room to make a move right here, okay? You can take it that high if you want, but you want to get him up here. Now, you still got your hands up, step me up here. Now, you're getting ready for this, okay? As soon as he gets the ball there, set. That ball has to be right on the palm of his hand or on the fingertips, okay? Now, if you throw a straight pass there, you got to be careful because if it's too much of a straight pass, it's going to be too far or too deep and he won't get to it. So you got to hit exact pinpoint passing into your post. The, the trick about post catches and release is the quickness of the move. Most defensive players are taught that you move when the ball's in the air. So as that ball's in the air, this guy's going to try to move. I'm going to try to get position down to try to get where I know he's going. I'm up in this position here. I got a half front on him. He's taking me out with his. All of a sudden I realize I'm wide, I'm blind. I'm thinking, uh-oh, I'm, I'm in trouble. Because that ball's going to go and I have no, 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 no recourse here. So what I'm going to do as a defensive player is I'm going to try to release and go down. When your defense releases, you got to stay glued to him. If I'm here and I try to release back into him and keep your window open to the, to the hole. All right? Now, another thing that I teach in, in, in different areas, if you got a guard there that has got a dog covering him, and let's say I got the ball here, Seth will cover him on a half front high. All right? I got a dog covering him, I'm looking for the post, I'm looking for the post. I can pass this, I can fake the ball here. I can go to the hole right here. And what you do is you step back and seal the highway for your guard to come in and take that shot right there. All right, set back on top. Now, first move in the catch and release, step out from minute, Tyler, is you get the ball here, throw me the ball right here in my fingertips, right there, good. You don't want to have too much of a lob pass, no bounce pass, quick straight pass right in here. All right, That's got to be very important. As soon as that hits my fingertips, I'm going to be thinking move right away. I can't grab it, bring the ball back center. As soon as that ball hits my fingertips, i got to be moving into this spot here. And the move on a drag power move is this. It's the same thing, same idea as if you take a step, jump, stop, shot. The only difference is, is you take that dribble and step back at the same time. Now you can't step and then dribble, you gotta do it at the same time. Ball's here, step. You can either step it like that, or if the ball comes in, and you get the ball here, step, hop, and shot. All right, so that's power slide. You want to take that right to the hole. Now, power slides that aren't acceptable is if you take that slide, little drag dribble, hop, and you're taking that hop so that you're this way. You're open to the rim. You want a shoulder shouldering in so that if the weak side help comes, he's going to have to come through your shoulder, and your elbow to block the ball. Pilot come back in. If he's got a ball, move the ball. Put him here, open the room. Open the room. If he's here, weak side help, it's too easy. But if he comes with a step, 
right in here. Now I'm going to have to go through his shoulder and through his elbow that's in my gut to try to block him. I'll probably cause a foul and you can get two, two shots. I love power slides. Again, if you're out a little bit, now Tyler is big enough that he just dragged it over here and he was right ready to take that shot. But what I want you to practice this time, Tyler, is taking the ball here, step, hop, and shot. Again. That's it, right there. Good. Now what that does is it gives you a little more balance coming into a jump stop there. Instead of the two-step where you declare a pivot foot in the post, which is very dangerous to do. Whereas if you come to a jump stop anywhere on the court, it gives you both options for pivots. Okay? Second move in the C portion of ABC of posting is if you got, got a guy that's playing you on the low side. Now, set back out with the ball. Uh, let's go medium, medium wing. Alright, he's got you here. He stepped me down. He stepped me down. Now he comes in. Now what he's going to do is step, keep his hip pinned to me right here, and come right up over the top of the rim with a little baby hook. Okay? So it's here. Okay. Now, coming to the middle, you're going to have a lot of traffic. So what I don't want is probably a dribble here. You'll be able to take just a step here on this one. You can dribble and drag dribble and power slide, but to the middle, I'd rather have you just take that quick baby hook to the hole. So he's going to now, when he takes his first step, he's posted here, one foot out of the alpha hole, one foot out of the alpha hole. There you go. You've got to make sure you're positioned on the floor. When he makes the step, if he steps out this way, he's just negated everything we worked for. He's just taking the ball back out of alpha territory. He's got to make sure that when he steps, that step is a swing step back into here so that he's right up over the top of the rim. That's what we want with a baby hook. We don't want that step out north-south. We want that step almost into a semicircle. All right? Here we go. Ball's up. There we go. Now, when you come down, Tyler, on the ground, you can make that, make that step. Come down right here so that you're in position for rebound. Come right down in the middle of the hole. Here we go. Got him low, got him low. Right away. That's it. Good, good. Now, that's the baby hook. Yeah, third one is if you've got a guy playing straight behind you, again, Seth, go take an angle. If you've got a guy here, you don't want to just stand up. That's it. You want to get down, lean forward toward the ball, bend the ball, get your arms out, right up in here. Again, you want to lean forward like you're ready to, like you got your knees bent right about here. And you're going to catch the ball right out in front of you. Right there. All right, now, when you get that ball out there, now you've got to decide what move you're going to make. You should have that decision made before the ball gets to you. All right? If you're going to make that decision after the ball gets here, it's too slow, and we've wasted our post position. Again, now, first thing I want you to do is I want you to take me on a shoulder fake to the right now. And shoulder faking, all it is is just a, just a shoulder. A shoulder, a little bit of a show of the ball, and then a quick move back. Now you can't have your fake so quick that he doesn't take it. You have to sell your fake. Make me believe you're going to go right with that ball and then step me back around. Now, again the trick here is when he gives me the shoulder fake and shows me the ball, don't turn your shoulders, just drop your shoulder a little bit, otherwise if you turn all the way around, you're, you, you're out of position for your move. Okay? You want to just drop your shoulder. Right there. That's it. That's all you have to do. Is head, ball, drop your shoulder a little bit. You can even stay right here. Drop your shoulder. Look back. There it is. And show the ball. Right here. Show the ball. Alright. When you show the ball, right there, make sure you're hanging on to it really tight. Alright. Now, when that happens and you're ready to make your move, I'm going to take a little bit of a step this way. You've got to make sure that the 
the left leg pins me back behind you. If you make that move and step down the lane, again, you've just negated all the work you've done. Because I can recover to that. The thing I can't recover to, pin me with this leg. The thing I can't recover to is that right there. He's gotten me out of the way with his footwork. Footwork is 90% of what happens in the pose. Again, if I'm playing behind him, he's got the ball in a crouched position out here, and I'm playing behind him, the ball just hits his hands, and as soon as it hits his hands, he's making that move. Okay, now you opened up a little bit too much to, that, to the basket. I want you to make sure you pin me, bring the ball down and drag dribble if you have to, Tyler, and make your shoulders parallel to the backboard. Do not open up at all, okay? Pass, Seth, Seth pick up a pass. Okay, you're right behind him, I'm leaning on him. Okay, too slow, too slow on the fake. That fake has got to come immediately. Again, down, out, that's it. Good. But again, I should make a drag, practice this one more time. You're going to get the ball. I want you to do a drag move and jump stop there. Drag, drag dribble and jump stop. Good, go ahead and do it. You want to do that from the left side, or right side? Okay, here we go. Good, good. Now when you take that shot, make sure again you're following in your in your follow-up on your on your follow-through. Alright? Uh, okay, now again, I'm here, get down, call for the ball way out in front of you, right there. Um, when you're in this position here, again, as soon as you hit catch it, you've got to make that move. C is for catch. It's also for call. You got to demand the ball down here. When I was in college, we had six eight six nine six seven six seven or six eight six nine six seven seven foot and me. And if I was a guard out there and I had a forward down here that was calling for the ball and I, and he had position and I opted to take a shot. Next step in that parade was him coming up to me, grabbing me by the shirt, pulling me down in the lane and saying, you see this? That's my house. Do not throw the ball up when I've got a free shot down here. Now that's pretty intimidating if a seven footer says that to your face. So as a guard, you have to realize, man, if your post is open, we want the two foot shot, we don't want the three, foot sh the three, uh, three point shot there. Now, one of the things that we have to realize there is, again, quick moves, call for the ball, and your move. So, when he's ready, let's go back to uh, low front on the low side, half front on the low side. I'm here. When I'm playing him, by the way, here, usually they're gonna, I'm going to have my front shoulder to his back shoulder. Right here. That's the way you want to play that. You don't want to play side to side or your feet like this or your feet like this, you want one foot behind T-boning his back foot. Right here. So that if he tries to make a, a move straight back, he's going to trip over your foot. So I want to T-bone him here. I want to step out in front, and I want this shoulder tight right here against his shoulder, and I'm going to lean him. All right, now, as soon as that hand comes up, as soon as that hand comes up, you've got to start calling for the ball like crazy. You've got to demand that ball. And as soon as the ball hits your fingertips, you got to make the move to the hole. You cannot wait it off. All right, I got him. You're in the alpha hole. That's good. I got you on low front. I'm tight. Oh, no, 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 no. no. You tried to push instead of having your hands up. Now, you're a pretty big boy. I'm going to have black and blue marks on my chest. And the bad thing about that is I don't have a ref here calling a foul. That was a foul, like this. You gotta get your hands up. I'm in here, I'm leaning. Like, okay, you can keep your hands down. Now I'm leaning on you here. Now put your hands straight up in the air. Now oh. step in. That's good. Again, do it without the dribble into the middle. And, okay, down, ho, 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 ho. Let's take the time. Alpha hole, all right. I got my set. Keep your hand down. Step me oh. down, step me down, that's it. 
If I'm on the high side, same thing. I got you a little bit low. No, don't push me like that. Got to get out of that habit. Hands up. Now, step me in. Step me in. That's oh. Good. Even though you're left-hander, I want you to take that shot right hand there. Again. Drag dribble, jump stop. Drag dribble, jump stop. Right here. Okay. Lean in, lean in. Ball. Good, good. Now, if I'm playing directly in front of them, and I got him jammed back on the post, he's walking from you, you can't walk me up with your elbow. Man. Hands up, remember I told you. You're up to the call line. Here we go, I'm fronting them. Hands up, hands up, hands up, oh. hands up. Now, get your. That's it. Good, good, good. All right. That's pretty much the ABCs of the low post. What you can do here also is another move that you want to make is if you got a guy and you're, you're, you're down and you got him here and you see he's up on your top hip, you want to take him even a little higher at with your fake. So the ball's in the, no, wait till the ball gets to you. As soon as the ball gets to you, get down, position, call for the ball way out in front of you. Ball. Right there. Give, him, give me a little shoulder fake right here. Take me a little higher. Turn around and take the jump shot. Nope. Don't want to swing back toward the player. Don't ever want to swing that ball back towards me. Whenever you're ripping through, you got to really be careful, especially if you're in the post. What you're going to do is you're going to fake me here and turn around this way and take that jump shot. Here we go. Ball. Fake me here. That's it. That's it. Now, when you take that shot, make sure it's nice and high up off the floor. Let's try it again. Give me a quick fake. Ball. Right fake right away. That's it. Good. Good. Now, if I come, and I'm playing a little bit low, now the fake's going to come low. Ball. That's it. Ball comes in, same thing. Ball comes in and I recover on this. Take me up and under. Alright? Here we go. Ball comes in. Good. Okay, those are turnaround jump shots you can make or up and under shots.